What's up, guys? It is a very beautiful, very hot summer day in uh, Glen Rock, Pennsylvania. I've had a lot of questions regarding the venue for Rock in the Ruins, so I uh, made a little trip down here so I could uh, kind of give you a tour of the place. So this is Ruins Hall. It is the remains of uh, an old furniture factory. Now uh, kind of crumbling away, uh, covered in graffiti. I mean, beautiful, beautiful structure. Um, you're going to be coming in from over there. That is Water Street. This is Enterprise Street. So just be careful getting in here. The road's not maintained. There's a lot of potholes. Uh, parking situation. I've had a lot of people ask me, is there disabled access? So you can't park there. That's all residential for those apartments. Where my car is and onward is going to be parking for those who absolutely need it. So obviously we can't fit everybody in here. So we ask that you just, um, when you get here, Pick, uh, pick whatever spot you want, <laughs> unload your vehicle, and then uh, find a place to park. There is a library about a block away with a huge public parking lot. There is on-street parking. It's not going to be that hard to find parking. So you can see there's uh, this break in the concrete here, and there's another one right there. So, I mean, if you want to bring your car in, and even if you want to park your car up along the wall here, for the uh for the day where your vendor booth is you know that's fine we got uh we got more than enough room for everybody uh real quick around the back here is where the porta potty is they only have one that seemed to suffice last year but i would like to get a second one just because i you know i'd rather have a second one <laughs> uh so yeah you, you can come in here we have electrical boxes on some of these uh, columns here. If you need power, it's here. If you don't need power, we just ask that you uh, leave those areas open for people who do. But it's it's basically going to be a free for all. You uh, you pick a spot and set up, and you know if you need, to, there's going to be the shady area over there. It's a huge freaking space. So I think. Uh, Last year, if I'm not mistaken, we had like 20 or 22 vendors. Uh, this year, I got to double check my numbers. I want to say we're in the ballpark of like 35, 37. But there's, there's plenty of room. So we're going to have the, uh, the band merchandise. <clears throat> I would like to have that right around here. Um, it seemed to work fine last year, but then, like I said... The rest of the vendors, you got this whole space to work with. All right, so this is going to be the dark parlor stage. This is specifically for bands that have three members or less. So there is room to put your shells. There is room for your amps. If your amps need to go off to the side so you got room to stand here, you know, do what you got to do. PA speakers are going to go up along either side. You got, you got room to uh, perform. Over here in this corner is going to be with the, we're, we're going to call it our makeshift green room. We're going to have a uh, some kind of curtain or barrier hanging across here. All of the uh, musical equipment is going to get stashed in the corner here. Bring some chairs. <laughs> now here we got the uh, the Dentsville stage. Now this is the, uh, the main stage here. Uh, we're looking at just eyeballing it. I'd say maybe 30 feet wide, give or take, about 15 feet deep. Plenty of room to, uh, you know, backline everything. Um, we're going to have our sponsor banners hanging up in these corners here. And then uh, whatever band happens to be on stage, we're going to have their banner plopped wherever you want it. It echoes it back in here. Wow. Here's the view from the stage. This is what you're going to be seeing. If you're, uh, if you're the one up here and let me tell you, the sound carries in this place like crazy. Then over here on this side, this is where they're going to be running the, uh, the electrical hookups from, uh, Reese is going to have her sound booth right in here. So she will be your best friend for the day. She will be running audio and next to Reese over in this, uh, general area will be, 
event staff. So we'll have Jesse from uh, Effigy there probably having some interviews of uh, bands and stuff. Uh, we got a few other things in the works that I'm not going to announce just yet until they're confirmed. Uh, ideally, I would like to have food trucks set up uh, probably on the outside of this concrete barricade. We had one food truck set up last year and they have room. It was fine. Uh, right here at the, uh, we'll call this the main entrance, I guess. The plan is to have an info booth here and maybe do like some kind of 50-50 raffle or raffle off band merch. Some kind of thing like that to uh, benefit the bands who are making the trek out here and uh, doing what they do. But I'm hoping the weather is the same as it was last year. I mean... It's, it's a little hot right now. It's 89 degrees out here, but, uh, you know, we might, uh, we might have something a little cooler in September. I think that just about covers everything though. I mean, this is, uh, this is it. This is the place. If you were here last year, you know exactly how it went down. Uh, if you're new to it and this is your first time, you know, here it is. Oh, another cool thing. There's a walking trail right up there. You got people walking, riding bikes down here. It's a, it's a public uh, rail trail. So last year, you know, a lot of the people that showed up were just people who happened to be on that trail wondering where all the noise is coming from. So I want to say we had uh, somewhere around like 300 people. But uh, just from like the interest that I've been seeing online, it's, it's easily got to be double that this year. So that being said... I, uh, I hope everybody's ready. I hope everybody's here to have a good time. And I hope everybody makes out good with, uh, you know, the stuff you're selling, your musical performances, everything. So September 14th, I will see all of you guys here. And uh, I think we're really going to be looking forward to it. Rock on, guys.